Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got a little bit of a, a different setup with this new headset. I'm hoping it's going to be all right for y'all. Um, and if it feels like it's not as good as my other setup, definitely let me know. Um, but I have a lot of ambient noise when I use my actual microphone. Um, just like I'm in the city, there's different stuff that kind of goes on in the background, um, even just in my apartment building. So here's to trying some new stuff and we're really trying something new today because we are playing the pre-alpha demo for warp forge warhammer 40k um fun fact about me is somehow i convinced <laughs> my parents when i was oh geez i want to say like 10 or 11 to spend a wild amount of money on uh, Warhammer 40k figurines. Had no idea what I was doing. Just tried to glue them together and figure it out. Um, but I got really into it for a bit and then sort of petered out. Um, but I've always had a love for the games. I played all the Dawn of War um, RTS games, if you're familiar with those. And shout out to One Smart Cat for turning me on to this game. I got to play a little bit uh, in the first demo weekend at the end of January, I believe. There's been radio silence, and then uh, this weekend they released uh, the Chaos Marines to add to it. Um, and I, I've just been really having a lot of fun. Like, there aren't a ton of people playing because also I think it's just really early stages and people don't even know <laughs> that, that it's happening. Um, so One Smart Cat gave me a heads up, and here we are making a video. So this is just going to be a tutorial video just to kind of give you all a sense of the game. Um, I'm really, really excited for it. It's different than a g any sort of card game I've played. Um, for those of you who know Horus Heresy, which I've downloaded, I haven't gotten to play as much, but it's like very, very similar. Um, and so I think we're just going to get into, you know, two tu tutorials, two tutorials today um, for y'all, just so that you have a sense of it. Um, and then I'm going to do another video with uh, just some gameplay, just so we can get out there and, and have some fun. Uh, they also af added a draft mode, and I've said it several times on the channel, I love draft or limited formats, so I think we're going to have to try and get a little bit of footage of that too if we can. Um, but today I just want to uh, take you on the journey on how to learn this game, so let's just hop into, uh, I know it's boring for those of you who know you know, Warhammer 40k, but I do love the Space Marines. I did have Space Marines when, <laughs> when I played with them. Um, so I think let's just hop into the tutorial so y'all can kind of get a sense of how you play. Also, love the voiceovers and all of that. It's, it's a really, really flavorful game, which I've enjoyed. So as you can notice, you've got basically two units on the board here. Um, with a health bar and then two different types of damage that they can do. Right, so this is your warlord. He has an attack value of two. Drag onto the enemy to attack. So, it's like you left click it and then you can choose melee or ranged. So, melee looks like this and since this has two, two melee it does the same back, right? It's, it's, I think it's called retaliate in the game and most cards you attack, and then the other one attacks you back. Right. Which is what they're explaining. That's all I can do this turn for for the beginning. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're really going, going in on giving each other compliments. Okay. So now, let's use ranged. That's cool. It's got like a different animation. Does the same thing. Right, and obviously, if your hero, your warlord, drops to zero, you lose, right? If you kill theirs, you win. So, um, it's it's a really interesting strategy because I haven't played a game like this where you've got a health pool that your opponents can, like, really choose how they want to interact with, right? Like, usually in Magic, you just take the damage, you choose to take the damage, maybe you block, maybe you do this. So this is definitely a, a different style, and I'm, I'm still really learning the game. But I've really enjoyed the level of complexity, but also that it's not like too complex. There, I will say, 
when you get going, there are a lot of keywords. So it does take a bit to, to learn just exactly what does it mean when something like riots or when, when it has frenzied. But you get the hang of it. Okay, initiate a normal attack, then switch to ranged. So what it wants me to do here is use a ranged attack on this um, card, right? And, and the reason I would want to kill this card is it's going to deal damage to me next turn regardless, right? And I get an advantage here because I have two damage attack. This only has one, so it's a strict upside to hit this. And it only has two health, so I can take it off the board. Now, if I attack the Warlord, sure, I could do that. We'd be at the same health. But then this unit is going to deal three damage to me next turn, and they're going to be ahead on life. So you just pretty much you have to find a way to efficiently interact with your opponent's other cards. Because um, if you don't, you're going to fall behind. Ah, all right. Now we should get some units here. Draw one card per turn. You can hold up to 10 cards at once. Always good to know. And this is our energy, or basically our mana. Um, and it only goes up to 10. Just just a good thing to, to note. Nice. Okay, so this costs 2 energy to play. 2 health. 2-2, two, two. so essentially it's a 2-2 two, two for 2, if you want to use magic terms. Um, so, you know, just a perfectly okay uh, card. Um, right, and so this can't attack. Uh, I mean, I, c I could attack here. Like, I think if it's not the tutorial, I might think about, might think twice about that. Just because I think sometimes when you're even on health, but you're deploying different... Um, cards like different soldiers i don't know that you want to just always attack your warlord against theirs and and use your health that way okay so now it's our turn because this doesn't have haste right it doesn't have the ability which i think is blitz in this game and we're going to deal two ranged it's only going to deal one to us so it's really efficient and we get to keep our minion so now i like this attack because they're going to have to deal with this and so they're going to start to get behind on uh, life points with their warlord. Yeah, so he, he has to take that out. Now he's behind on one, and then he played the same card that we had, the Intercessor. Sweet. Alright, we've got stuff to do. We've got seven mana, so we can't play our awesome Centurion. Also, just look at the art. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm really into this game because... They just put a lot of time into how these cards look. Even the most boring cards look really sick. Okay. So we've got some Ultramarines. And you'll see me kind of placing these. Th you can place these, like, look at this. And, and positioning for certain cards actually really matters. Where it'll be, like, give things adjacent plus one plus one. So you really want to be mindful of that. So here, obviously we can't attack because we just played these. So, we're just going to take the two damage to kill their um, intercessor. But we've deployed these, and so he can ranged kill one efficiently, but then hopefully one of them will connect next turn. So, it's definitely the right play from the Marnius Kalgar. Sweet. Yeah. Alright. Oh, well, although this card's not, like, on face value that bad you know like crazy it's got no keywords but it's got seven ranged attack and it's got six health which is pretty beefy um so we can make a choice here i mean i think um it doesn't really matter because this is going to die either way so yes we can we can punch for the most damage on the warlord so that's technically better right and then we can oh it doesn't want me to attack okay <laughs> all right I guess that makes sense. We've, we've got the uh, Centurion to like really go crazy next turn. Yeah, so he's dead. All we have to do is just deal the 7 range damage here. Boom! See you later, Kalgar. And that's kind of how it works. I forgot they have like the the sort of lore going on while <laughs> while you're doing the tutorial, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's 
uh, I hopped on just playing multiplayer a bit yesterday when I had some time, and I just find it to be very, very fun. Um, so here, that's the Space Marines. I think we've got to do at least the Orcs, who can be really fun. I was a big Orc fan as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's just a, it's a cool take on card games. The art is amazing. Um, like, the cards just are so interesting looking and like the art the art style is very very cool um and i just you know you don't even have to be that into warhammer to have fun with it i think um but also for people who really like warhammer and the lore and the voiceovers and all of that it's really sweet okay let's read this card real quick if it's gonna let me, it's not gonna let me <laughs> okay <laughs> i just wanted to click on it to read it but all right so just a good thing to note, right? Our attack is one higher than there, so it's this is a really good attack, right? We're getting ahead, and also this war boss has more life than theirs, so or war leader, so warlord, we got there. Um, so yeah, we're we're starting off pretty okay here. I imagine they're gonna want to kill this, but our opponent AI did not. Um. So let's, c can I read this guy for the viewers, or? Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so Tide is, I get to make extra ones, right? Yeah, I think I think Tide is like, if you have an extra energy, you get like another one. Oh, wait, I should have put them on this side. I forgot to get the buff on this side. Okay, so there, so you learned something. I learned something there, right? So this guy, I forgot. He gives plus one attack. So what I should have done is just put all, like, at least two units adjacent to him. I mean, having the Warlord is nice, though, I will say. Um, having the extra damage. Now, I can attack with this guy, but again, I just want to keep him on the board um, to keep our Warlord um, buffed, as well as one of these guys. Yeah, so that's smart. You want to kill that, right, because it's pumping my other guys. In Backlash, return this troop to your hand. Oh, wow. So, that's pretty insane, right? Because, yeah, click on the card. Thank you. Now I can do it. So, adjacent units have plus one melee attack. That's why positioning matters. And then Backlash, return this troop to your hand. So, when it dies, basically think of this as finale. It, for those of you who watch my Spellslinger stuff. Um, or just think of it as a, like, when this card dies trigger effect. So... That's what I mean by the terminology. Like it's it's gonna take a little bit to um to get the hang of it, I think. But we'll get there. Sweet. And what does he do again? Mob. Trigger an effect after another friendly unit does a melee attack and it deals one damage to a random enemy. I love the shooter boys. They're so cool. Alright. Well I definitely wanna buff I wanna keep buffing, you know, this stuff. So I think I'd rather start getting rid of some of their minions. Um, we're, we're also going to need to do this extra damage. Uh, I'm just going to take this out. And I can attack with this as well. I, I could hold off, but I think I'd rather just get the damage from my shooter boy anyway. We got so much value off of that. And I just love the backgrounds too. They're really, really cool. <laughs> I think we need to find new tactics. Deal three damage to a random enemy. Well, it's definitely pretty nice. Right, stratagems are basically like spell cards, essentially. Um, I forgot to explain that, but yeah, they're not like a unit. So you just drag that out. It's going to deal three right there because there's nothing else. And we're just going to go in here. Just keep getting these uh, shooter boy procs. Oh, it's not going to let me <laughs> continue attacking. All right. Well, obviously we would have if we were going to do that. Cool, cool. The mighty gas Ephemeral. Give a plus one. Warlords. And some troops have talents each turn they create a stratagem in your hand. Right, so it's basically like this will die at the end of turn. 
right? But um, if it's not used, but you just kind of get a freebie, which is really, really nice. All right, so do I want... Do I want my Warlord next, or do I want... These these can't attack, so I, I think we don't want to um, play them on the other side yet. Nice, and give plus one melee and ranged attack to all troops. That's really insane. So they all get buffed. And Vanguard, um, I forget what it's called in Hearthstone, but like you have to attack this to get to the Warlord. That's that's how it works. So, oh, whoops, we're gonna do a ranged attack because that's better for us. So otherwise, we would have taken four damage instead. Okay, it's not letting me <laughs> attack yet. But yeah, you sort of get the hang of it. Like, the positioning is cool. And like when you're, obviously you just want to curve out, right? You want to spend as much mana each turn as possible. All right, we're driving back those space marines. And they're going to let me do what I want now. Sweet. Okay, so we put one on this side. We're going to get another one. Put that one on the other side. And let's uh, use our card again. And go absolutely crazy. See you later, bud. Yeah, you better fall back, bro. <laughs> uh, very cool. So, that's the orcs. We did the orcs, we did the space marines. There's also the necrons, which are really cool. And then the um, uh, chaos marines just got added. Um, I mean, the tutorials are pretty quick. Uh, I guess, you know what? Let's, let's, just do, let's just do each one. Just so that, you know, people hop into the video and be able to see what everyone's doing. Um, the Necrons were really cool. I remember playing them in Dawn of War 40k. Um, like, when they got added and they just, like, they scale up and they're, they're kind of slow, but they're, like, super late game kind of. Um, really hard to kill. Like, they come back. Um, so it's, it's a really cool mechanic that you guys will get to see. Alright, got two energy. Yep, I think this is a good attack. We just want to get rid of their unit here. Alright, many Necron troops have the remnant trait. When killed, they leave a remnant on the board, which is basically like, if you do not kill this a second time, they will come back, right? Um, which is a really cool thing. So deploy a Necron warrior. This is a uh, an ephemeral card that we get, which is pretty sweet. And this unit's pretty decent. Three health is not bad for a two cost. And it's got two range damage, obviously. Uh, melee for Necrons was always bad. So they, they kind of follow that flavor, which I think is awesome. Alright, so they're going to reanimate their Remnant because we didn't have a second unit to kill it. Oh, and I got a buff as well. Remnants can be reanimated. Some units trigger a special effect when reanimated. Oh, so this guy gets plus two ranged and plus one health. That's pretty crazy. The monolith. This thing is sick. I remember you got your base turned into this at the end of uh, certain games. Okay, so what does this have? Remnant. Okay. When it dies, it can come back if they don't kill it. And it's got Vanguard. Vanguard cards are really good. I, I just... They really disrupt what your opponent's trying to do. So I'd say, um, you know, when you have access to vanguards early on, I think that they're they're really worth um, quite a lot. So here we can attack here, which is nice, and not instantly die as if we were attacking here. We can trade some damage on their warlord, which is not not bad. Uh, it doesn't not want me to attack. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna melee this, so we only take two damage, and then he's gonna have to attack my vanguard unit first which is which is good protects my warlord here takes out theirs and then we're going to be able to kill their remnant so it can't come back hopefully unless they play a vanguard okay Let's see what's going on here all right so i can choose to reanimate this right reanimate a friendly Remnant, let's do that. Love it. Still has Vanguard. Cool, cool, cool. 
Okay, remnant. When reanimated, gains plus two health attack. So yeah, that's that's the one that they had. That's sweet. Right. Okay, so we're gonna range here because his range attack is zero. Because they they played a card that actually is better, uh, you know, on physical. And then we're gonna get our extra damage here. Get two damage on them. We're even on life now, which is good. Okay, so they've got... Nice. So our, that was huge. Like, our Vanguard card survived their card. They had to use another card to take it out. Really, really good. And it'll come back if they don't kill it now. Yeah. So you can kind of see, like, with Necrons, th it's a lot of card advantage. Um, and if you don't kind of stay on top of it, they could just go really crazy. Okay. Remnant, which is great. Artifice. Does something when you're playing a stratagem. So those stratagem cards we were talking about earlier, right, they, they also interact with certain special abilities, which is cool. Reanimate a friendly remnant. <coughs> Let's get our, our Vanguard back, which will be really nice. And his special ability, reanimate something else. Huge. And uh, they got the buff from being reanimated because it said that, which is really sweet. Yep, definitely just want to punch this guy. Get him out of there, and then we're going to have a pretty strong next turn, hopefully. Got a cool flying ship. The Night Scythe. Dig it, dig it. Okay, yeah, let's just... Uh, well, range is equal, but, you know, we'll be able, we have to take it out some way. We want to trade our, our stuff there. This is pretty nice. We can punch this. We're not going to take as much damage back. They still have to deal with our Vanguard unit. Yes, let's definitely get rid of their... Uh, their guy, so it doesn't come back, and then deal three damage to a random enemy when we use a stratagem. Very cool. Put them on this side. And you know, the higher the health you have, just the more work that your unit can do. Um, health is really, really relevant because it, that's just what determines multiple attacks, and because things tend to be even in terms of power level, especially early on. You know, being able to have more bites at the apple, if you will, um, is, is the way to do it. Okay, so now they're going to let me play, which is cool. Deploy a Necron Warrior. Right, so let's just play another one of these, and we're going to definitely use our Stratagem. We get a buff here. Get to bring this guy back, and he does three damage. Yep. Insane. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm just... Oh, right. Do I want to trade that? I mean, I should do as much damage as possible. So. Honestly, we just use our units to kind of... Even though it's going to die. Just get ahead. And I could trade two for four here. I don't think that's correct. Because I'll just wait a turn and it goes back from the buff. Oh. Okay, Rally is like when it comes into play. Trigger an effect when this unit is played from your hand. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So enter the battlefield trigger, uh, essentially, right? Okay, Sniper. Yeah, this is a cool one. So when, when doing a ranged attack, enemy enemies killed don't retaliate. So if they only have 5 health and you kill them, then you're not going to take the damage back, which is obviously a pretty powerful thing. Um, when you're doing essentially like free damage, that's... Not bad. So get another one of those, and let's just keep. So this has six health, but it doesn't have vanguard. So I think we can just rush down our opponent here. I think that's the the move. Just gonna get them as low as possible. There's not really much they can do at this point, unless they have a Vanguard card. That's why Vanguard is so important. 
Like, it is one of the things that can stop your opponent from just going crazy on you. Okay. So they take out their stuff, which is decent, but we've got five damage sitting right here to kill them. So I think that should about do it. Yep. Zap that guy. See you later, idiot. Go back to your weird Necron Palace, bud. <laughs> nice. All right. Got one more to go with the Chaos Marines. Which So if you've played this game uh, in January, we didn't have the Chaos Marines. So they are the newest ones. So i gotta got to showcase them. And they are really, really cool. <laughs> so I think, uh, think y'all will have fun. Um, when you play. Yeah, just the classic Chaos Marines versus the Space Marines. Played some epic campaigns back in the day. Super fun. Okay. Oh, I've got a ton of options, but of course... Alright, so, what does this guy do? Uh, it's not going to let me, right? Alright, let's just... <laughs> let's just play it. I forget you can't view all the cards, but it's all right. Um, we'll, we'll see what this guy does later. Marks of Chaos, I think, are random buffs. Sometimes you can choose them. Okay, this guy got blinded because he had a special ability, so that means his range is zero right now, which is no good. But yes, let's punch this guy because he can't punch back as well. The troop will deal two damage to an enemy when receiving a mark of chaos. Okay, so that's his ability. And this says ephemeral, so it'll leave our hand at the end of turn. Give a friendly mark of chaos to or give a mark of chaos to a friendly unit. Sweet. So we get a buff and we get to buff our guy. Nice. Gives the troop plus two melee and vanguard. Wow, so plus two attack and vanguard. So yeah, let's just use this guy to deal a bunch of damage. I mean, you might want to save that in the future <laughs> just to soak up one of their units, but also if we're playing more aggressive, we're we're just going to get a head on board if we do this. Or a head on life, rather. Okay, this guy. Blast 2. Blast is pretty good. When attacking, deal X damage to units adjacent to the target. So again, this is why positioning on the board matters, which I think is sweet. Okay, when your warlord receives damage... Gain a mark of Slanesh. Slan we gotta find out what that is. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna find out. Let's punch this guy for a good trade. That gets plus two melee attack and plus two ranged. Very nice. Okay, we can play one of these Chaos Spawn. Flank. A flank is when it comes into play. It can attack an enemy troop, which is nice. It's kind of like a, a haste creature in that way. But it's an enemy troop, not a warlord. So don't make that mistake, <laughs> which I've made plenty of time. All right. Looks like we've got some good stuff over here. Apothecary. Nice. Four, 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 four. Um, and it uh, heals. Very nice. Okay. All right, we're going to play our stratagem here that we drew. And then we're going to get to... Although we're going to take some damage here. Kills their unit, and our unit's going to get buffed. Six damage is quite a lot. And it gets another bite at the apple, potentially. All right, so this is two... It's a two mana, two health, three, three. Not bad. It doesn't have a lot of health, but the... Attack is not, you know, pretty good. I'm really excited to get into card evaluation with this game because I think having a Warlord really changes how you can evaluate certain cards. So, um, just, uh, it's going to be really nice to be playing something different. Um, and uh, I'm pretty excited for when this comes out. Okay. Enemies have Vulnerable. This, this is a really powerful ability. So it just means that they can they take an extra damage. So vulnerable amplifies the damage received by enemies. And so instead of this dealing four damage, it'll deal five because he's giving everyone vulnerable one. 
And this means we can take out some of their stronger cards easily with our Warlord um, because of their vulnerability. Yeah, so he had three health. And we did two damage, but the vulnerable uh, triggered and it killed them. Yep. And we're going to do the same thing here. It's going to also kill this because of the vulnerability. So it, it makes our attacks even more uh, efficient, which is like a pretty powerful ability. Five mana for a six health, four, four. But essentially it's a five, five because of the vulnerable trigger. Nice. My turn. Okay, give a Mark of Chaos to a friendly troop. Awesome. Let's see what we get. Health and Regenerate. Sick. Well, Regenerate 1 is exactly what you think it is. And um, we're going to go ranged here because that's very efficient. They can only deal 3 back. We, can, we get to do some more. And we're going to regenerate some health too. See if the stratagem hits. It does. Which is awesome. Let's just punch this guy who also has Vulnerability 1. So good. When you draw a card, gain a mark. Nice. Okay, so he might he might not survive, but if he does, we're gonna get stuff. And this regenerated one health at the end of turn because it gained that, which is pretty sick. I think uh, things with regenerate are obviously pretty good if they've got a decent amount of health. Okay, they had a good turn. They got two units on the board. We drew a card, so this got plus two health and camouflage, which is a new keyword. So, camouflage is this unit cannot be targeted by enemy stratagems until it attacks. So, you get like a little bit of a, a window where um, they can't really use spells to get rid of it. And this card, I remember, is pretty sweet. So, flank, when it comes in, it can immediately attack. It's got five power. Strike, trigger an effect after attacking. If this unit survives the attack, gain a mark, a random mark of chaos. So, if this thing can live through the attack, it's going to buff up, which is pretty sick. Yep, so we attack here. It's going to survive because this has not good uh, physical attack. And we got the mark, so it's now got seven. <laughs> and we're going to attack ranged. Very nice. Keep hitting. Some cards amplify their effects based on the number of marks of chaos on your troops. Give stealth to a friendly troop. Draw a card for each mark of chaos. Very nice. Okay. So we get to draw one from that. Very nice. So chaos marines are kind of cool. It's like they get buffs and the buffs like kind of interact and can give you card advantage. Um, I think some, you know, a lot of the time it's random, but I think, uh, in a nutshell, they can still be pretty powerful. Okay, nice. I get to finish them off. So we've got seven attack here, and we do have to get rid of this Vanguard. So how do we want to do it? Give a Mark of Chaos to all friendly troops. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just start there, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's do attack. I uh, wish I could see the board. Can I? Okay, sweet. So this has four attacks, so we definitely want to give this health. I think that's the move. Let's give our guys some health. And then I'm going to make this. This guy's so strong. I think I just want to keep buffing him up. All right, so we got more health and more attack. And let's do... Let's, let's do the gaze first, because if it hits the vanguard... Oh, Let's go. Nice. This doesn't even die because this has a million health. Get to just punch this guy for nine. <laughs> and it becomes stronger because of the effect. Crazy. Th this thing, if you can keep it alive, Possess Champion, it just does crazy amount of work. Look at all these buffs on it. It's nuts. Okay, they got some health. That's not bad. Yeah, we're just going to close this out, obviously. So they don't have a way to deal with this. And, you know what? Let's do it in style with our Warlord. A bada boom! May stand in the time to be. Yeah, you better hope so. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Those are the four current factions that we have. I'm sure there are going to be more. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's what I got for y'all today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, I'm still playing Magic Spell Slingers quite a bit um, and doing fun tournaments and all those kinds of things. And I'll, I'll probably have a video up talking a little bit about that. But I'm really excited for Warforge. I think it's going to be really fun. I just love the art. I love the lore. Um, and the gameplay, to me, is, is something I haven't really gotten to do with a card game. Um, and I'm just I'm really, really looking forward to it. So keep your eyes peeled. Definitely download it in Steam. Um, if you haven't already, I don't think there's any release date. We don't really know. So when it's up, play it. And when it's down, uh, hopefully we will you know, get a full release or a beta or whatever um, soon. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you stopping by, and I'll be having my own playlist for, uh, you know, the, the, this game. And uh, let me know what you think, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later.